Hey, what's up? So it's time for another ePay unboxing. And so I have my restoration gloves on because this is a restoration project. I don't necessarily like restoration projects, but when I find an antique that usually sells for a lot more money and I can't afford it, and there's a chance that I can fix it and I get it for cheap, that's when I buy it. So there we go. But it's always good to keep your mind busy and occupied with things like restorations and hobbies and all that sort of good stuff. So I saw this on eBay. I'm going to buy it now. I think it was uh, $38. I offered $25. The seller accepted. I didn't want to pay more than that because I don't know if I can actually fix this. So, you know, it's a chance you take. So, so far, packed well. It's an antique box. I like to collect antique boxes. And not only wood ones. Um, I collect glass ones. I collect metal ones. And so... Let's see what we got here. Um, the seller's pictures were terrible, absolutely terrible. So I really couldn't tell what I was getting, but I believe it's uh, from the Napoleon III era, meaning from the 1850s to the 1870s. I could be wrong. I'm no expert, and we will find out in a moment. Aha. Okay, it is what I sus uh, suspected it to be. Okay, so unfortunately, this has seen better days, and as you can see, it has, uh, you know, some lacquer loss. It, uh, you know, it has stains on it. It's not gleaming. It's not bright. The wood really needs to be cleaned. Um, this, I don't know what kind of box this is, actually. I don't know what they used it for. Now, I, I suspect it could be some kind of uh, jewelry box or I think it's too small to be a glove box, um, but it could be. Or maybe it could be a game piece box. Uh, they used to have these little traveling boxes to gamble with that would hold cards and chips and all sorts of things. So um, in the center, we have some marquetry. And around the edges, you see these scalloped pieces. I have some other boxes from the Napoleon the Third era, and they had that scalloped design. So that's how I know it's about that age. If you flip it over... On the bottom, you can see it once uh, had a bottom piece, you know, that was a line for a lining. So this is showing me how old this is. This is not something that was made in the 50s. Um, we don't have a key. I have some replica keys and some antique keys laying around. I will try to actually find a key that will fit it. And so look at it. It is pretty grody. And when we open it up, it has the original lining paper in there. It's seen better days. It does have staining. And uh, I can't fix that. I mean, you can buy replica paper and reline it, but I'm not going there, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I'm definitely, definitely not advanced enough at, like, restoring things to do that. Now, where was this made? Most likely France. Um, let's see, we have a round lock. That's usually a sign of a, a French box. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it's French. I could be wrong. It could be English. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get something uh, called Restore Finish by Howard out, and we're going to actually make this look nice. I think this may be rosewood. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, write it in the comments below. But first, I have to clean this off, get the dust off, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to it. So I have a bunch of products. Here we go, Howard Restore Finish. I chose mahogany. It's the closest to the color. I also have feed and wax, which is the second part of what I'm going to do. I have furniture marking pens and crayons. Um, there are maybe some chips that the Howard Restore finish won't uh, fix. And so what I do is I shake this up. And it comes in all different colors, by the way. It doesn't only come in mahogany. And uh, I shake it up really well. And I get the finest steel wool pad that I can get my hands on. You want it to get into the grain of the wood. So this is in no way a professional restoration. This is more of a perk, a perk me up or pick me up, if you know what I mean. It'll help uh, to get rid of the blemishes on the wood. So I got the restore finish on here and you want to go with the grain of the wood. So let's get started and we'll do one half of the box together. And by the way, I got to get into these uh, nooks and crannies and I'll show you the difference between one half and the other half. Now it takes about 30 minutes for this to actually settle into the wood. And then you just get a, like an old ripped up t-shirt or rag and then wipe it up. And this is gonna give uh, the beauty back to your wood and some pigment and color and hide some of the scratches and discolorations on it. Okay, so you can see the difference, right? 
There we go. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest, and I'll be back in 30 minutes, and then we're going to go to part two, um, and that will be the conditioning part. All right, so I just applied it, and there's 30 minutes on the clock, and I just want to show you something. Look at how beautiful, I think this rosewood, I think it's rosewood, looks right now. Look at the fire to the wood. It's like really warming up and uh, getting much, much, much uh, prettier. Um, you can see the grain of the wood throughout the piece look at that that is uh, absolutely amazing the difference so 30 minutes and then i'm going to get an old rag wipe it off then we're going to go to part two and part two is actually the conditioning part and so let's uh get the product and i'll show you howard feed and wax wood and uh polished conditioner so we have beeswax and orange oil you give it a good shake you put it on uh you know and you can even use a steel wool pad to do that, a very, very fine one, that is. Or put it on with a rag or a paintbrush. I usually put it on uh, with a, a paintbrush or a rag. All right, so 30 minutes, I'll be back, and we'll go to step two. So I'm just going to do a quick wipe off to show you guys if you want to, you know, do this yourself. And just wipe it off, that's all. You know, get the excess off, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I just uh, wiped it off, and you can see the incredible shine. And we're not uh, done yet, so now we're going to condition it. So you just wipe it on, you know, rub it on in uh, a, like a motion towards the grain, and then wait 20 minutes, and then just rub in circular buffing motions. And I already have a key that I made for it with my Dremel, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so uh, the conditioner has been on for 20 minutes, and now I'm going to wipe it off. So I got um, one rubber glove and one cloth glove, um, one for grip <laughs> and one uh, not to mess with the polish. So you just, you know, get a dish towel or an old t-shirt or something and just rub in circular motions. And I'll be back. All right, so here it is. Look how much better it looks. Before it had no shine, no color to it, no fire. Now we have that beautiful, beautiful fiery wood, if you can see through the grain here. Um, I made a key for it. Um, actually, I didn't make a key. It actually fit, which was great. And uh, yeah, so this is probably a Napoleon III era, probably anywhere between the late 1850s to the uh, 1870s box. And uh, yeah, so the Howard Restorer Finish really did a great job. I'm really pleased. I'm so happy that I found it on eBay. I would never be able to afford this if this didn't have that uh, degree of damage to it where I was able to fix it. Um, the seller really didn't even know anything about it. He thought it was vintage, and it turns out that it was really, really old. And uh, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I highly re uh, recommend the Howard Restorer finished products, including their waxes and conditioners for wood. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.